Hi, I'm Dr. Cheyenne Bryant, psychology expert and life coach. And today we're gonna to talk about identifying challenges and barriers as a woman. First thing is make sure you are doing daily check-ins. Why are daily check-ins so important? Because if we are able to identify our barriers and challenges on a daily basis, that avoids us becoming overwhelmed with all of what we got going on and at some point experiencing burnout, anxiety, depression, and not being able to manage our world. So daily check-ins are very important. Next, make sure you are having honest self-talk. Listen, we are all experiencing something, whether it be a challenge, a barrier, or both. So there's no reason to be embarrassed about what you're going through or what those challenges are, or even having to break through barriers. As women, we have to allow ourselves the space to feel what we feel, be honest about what that feeling is, and be okay with processing, getting through that, and having resolve. And lastly, get an accountability partner. Get someone who you can check in with maybe weekly or twice a week and say, hey, what challenges or barriers do you see from the outside looking in that I need to work on or that I am experiencing? Oftentimes being inside our own world doesn't allow us to have the best vision, right? The best eyesight or insight as to what we are experiencing. So get accountability partner you can trust and check in with them minimum once or twice a week, okay? And so let's talk about tips on how you process and get through these challenges and barriers. First, make sure you get in contact with what these challenges and barriers are, right? What are you going through? What are you experiencing that is keeping you from reaching your goals? What new challenges have you come into that are, are having you feel disharmony, discord, or not in alignment with your inner being, which is so important. Remember, manifestation happens at the point of alignment. So it's important to identify and get in contact with what these barriers and challenges are. Second thing is make sure you are writing them down. There's so much power in writing down what these things are that are keeping you from obtaining whatever it may be. It could be something as easy as you wanting just a peace of mind. Whatever barriers, whatever challenges are keeping you from that, write it down, okay? And tip number three, this is one of my favorite tips because as women, I feel like we often struggle with this one. Make sure you get help. Help doesn't always mean that you're seeking out a, a therapist or a life coach. Sometimes help is just a, a, a easy conversation with a friend, a family member. Sometimes help is just sitting with someone over a, a, a glass of wine or maybe, maybe some coffee and tea and just having a really free flowing, honest, supportive, empowering conversation. The key to all of this is to make sure that you are identifying that at which is going on with you as far as challenges and barriers right? Have that self-talk with yourself about what's really going on. Be okay with that. Surrender to it and accept it. And then reach out to the necessary help that you need. Look, I'm a life coach. I've been doing this for 13 plus years. And even myself, I have a coach. I make sure that I reach out and get the help that I need because I experience challenges and barriers myself that I know that I cannot overcome on my own. So I hope these tips have helped you, and i like to offer that you not only implement these into your life once or twice, but you make it a lifestyle.